hello guys welcome to my channel on today's video we are going to be taking a look at microorganisms before we ride on please those who are visiting the channel for your first time please do endeavor to subscribe and turn on your notification because we have a lot of great contents coming your way we have the following objectives for today what are microorganisms types of microorganisms where are microorganisms found and the advantages and disadvantages of microorganisms. Microorganisms are living organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eye. In other words, they are organisms that can be seen only with the aid of a microscope. They exist as unicellular cells, multicellular cells, or as cell clusters. Microorganisms have harmful as well as beneficial effects. So let's take a look at the various types of microorganisms. Firstly, we take a look at the bacteria cells, which can exist either as gram-negative or the gram-positive bacteria. We can therefore see the shapes of various bacteria, which exist as cells, that is the cocci, the bacilli, and the spirals. Secondly, we have the viruses which exist in four main shapes, the helica, the polyhedra, the spherical shape, and the complex shape. Viruses are organisms which become active or living only when they are in a living host. On position number three, we have the fungi, which are classified as follows. We have the phacomycetes, which are example being rhizospore. The ascomycetes, which are example being the heat cell. The basidiomycetes and the deuteromycetes. We can see the picture of some commonly known fungi, such as the heat cell, the mushroom, and the commonly known bread mole. The fourth microorganisms we have on our list are the algaes, which are aquatic microorganisms which have the ability to carry out photosynthesis. We have examples such as the volvox, the chlamydomonas, the cyanobacteria, and the green, red, and brown algaes. We have the protozoans, which are classified into the following phylum. We have the sarcodina, the silophora, the sarcomastigophora, and the apicomplexa, with an example being the plasmodium. Protozoans are single-cell microscopic animals such as Trypanosoma, Amoeba, Paramecium, and Euglena. The last microorganisms we'll be taking a look at are the archaea. They are classified into the following phylums, the Uriachiota, the Crinachiota, the Nanoachiota, and the Coraachiota. Where are microorganisms found? Microorganisms are found everywhere. They are found in the soil, air, water, and even on our body. Let's see some of the advantages of microorganisms. They help in the production of food, such as yeast, which is used in the production of bread. They carry out the process of fermentation, such as the lactobacillus, which are used in the fermentation of yogurt. They help in the preparation of vaccine. Some disadvantages of microorganisms are as follows. They cause diseases, and some microorganisms are responsible for the rotting of food. Thank you all for watching. And please, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification. So whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it. 